Hi, Doc Zicky here again, and behind the camera we have Bra- um, <laughs> Brad. <laughs> Brad the man manager. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Zicky here, and behind the camera we have once again Matt, my brand manager. Hey, hey. All right, Matt. Uh, have you ever thought about what Chat GPT or OpenAI knows about you? I mean, it keeps me awake at night. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm assuming it's a lot because I used to um, be able to Google myself and a lot would come up. Okay. So what I did with Matt's permission is that I used his computer to get access to ChatGPT. And then I typed in two prompts to get ChatGPT to tell me exactly what it knows about Matt from all its interactions that it has had over the last year, let's let's say. But I thought I'd do something different and I'm gonna read out to you what ChatGPT knows about you. This and is this is gonna be interesting. This yeah, this interesting. is this is important. This is important because LLMs have advanced significantly over the last few years. We're not talking about just cookies and just browser history using Chrome, whatever. LLMs can understand, in inverted commas, quite a lot about us. So this is important. We'll talk about that at the end of the video. So I'm gonna do a little react video, but switch it around and react to you, how you react to what I know about you, according to ChatGPT. Nice. Okay, so obviously it knows your name and it knows your location, being Australia. Now, demographics, I'll skip, I'm gonna cut this down. Demographics. It knows that you live with a disability, osteogenesis imperfecta, OI. Pretty, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. that's public knowledge. Okay. Professional roles and involvements. It has about six or seven points. Um, firstly, disability advocate, educator, and consultant. Yeah, I think yeah. that's something that appears on my LinkedIn profile. Okay. Content creator and producer. For example, you are creating and producing Bone Deep documentary. You are involved with my blogs, Bigatron.com, and you have videos involved with me, and Rectus Gaming. Yep. So far, so good. Okay. Now, creative and technical skills. Videos and social media production. Familiarity with platforms like YouTube, OBS, and Descript. Interests in AI, ethics, and human-computer interaction. Okay, now, now we're getting more specific. Yeah, yeah. Now this is where it starts to get quite like you feel a little bit violated, just a little bit. Like when I first put these two prompts into ChatGPT, I was not expecting this. Right, I was expecting you know it's a general summary, but then I realised, wow, it actually knows a lot more than I expected about me. And I feel like that's my privacy, that's my private stuff. An LLM or a company should not have access to this kind of information about me right now. So it knows about these things. Hobbies and interests, gaming, particularly live streaming retro and indie games, tabletop RPG, cast custom characters with complex backstories, martial arts and physical fitness despite physical limitations, Performance arts, former, you were a former professional dancer. So you've done consulting on NDI access and appeals. You've explored alternative therapies. You've actively managed medical needs. I'm going to skip all these. Now, this list continues. What are your thoughts so far? So far, like, there's very few things that I've been surprised at. Okay. The things that I have been surprised about aren't necessarily that it's gleaned some hidden information, but more that it's like found good ways to summarize previous okay. information that's come straight out of chats that I've had with it. Yep, all right, we'll continue. Creativity, you express ideas through writing, storytelling, performance and design. Advocacy, you're deeply invested in systemic change through education, consultation and direct supports. Let's go to the section entitled Personality Traits. Apparently, you're a visionary thinker. You're detail-oriented. You request structured formats, clear briefs, fact-checking and accuracy, skipping a few things. You're playful and cheeky. <laughs> okay. I'm quoting. You enjoy subtle humour and creativity, e.g. 
satire, RPG names, hamburgers and hummingbirds in inverted commas. <laughs> okay. I don't know what that means. I made a WhatsApp group once. It was for um, me and a friend. We used to eat a lot of hamburgers together. Yep. And I can't remember why it was called Hamburgers and Hummingbirds, but that was the name it came out with. And I was like, yeah, all right, all right, okay. I'll call it. Okay, all right. Skipping, uh, skipping a few things, like it says you're tech inclined and all that. 14 hours later. Now, when I got ChatGPT to get a summary of this kind of stuff for me, and I was reading stuff about me, I felt violated, man. I felt like this is an LMM, this is a big tech company telling me about myself. And then obviously there's aspects of targeted advertising and manipulation. This is a big topic when it comes to LLMs. The fact that once these LLMs get knowledge about ourselves, they will be able to manipulate us by twisting their responses to our prompts to suit this kind of information, right? So I was sitting there going, it knows this much about me. So I'm, I'm keen to hear your thoughts mm-hmm. on this, right? Like, so you seek independence, you seek knowledge, you lead with your personal story to influence system and communities. You value self-expression, social justice, all these kind of things. Like, dude, mm-hmm. what do you, maybe, maybe your reaction to this is slightly less pronounced than mine, but I've worked in the industry and I know how this information can be abused. So, you know, you're not part of it. But to me, this when I read this, I felt a little bit violated. So what do you think to this? It's a double-edged sword. Like, yeah. in one way, I'm like, man, ChatGPT talks about me better than I talk about me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what yeah, a great right. tool for, like, writing a resume. But on the other hand, like you said, you know, this information can be used very easily yeah. to target me in advertising things. So we know that I've just finished, I've nearly finished reading this book called Careless People. I forget the author, Sarah something. Uh, She was a high level worker at Facebook, very high. She had access to Mark Zuckerberg and the CFOs and and all that. And she decided to do a tell all kind of book. And it's just been a fascinating read because I mean, I've worked in the industry and we've done videos about this where I know that that stuff is all the way up to the top. When you get to the top, that stuff is corrupt Mm -hmm. and there's greed. And, you know, when they say that Facebook cares about people and Facebook cares about connectivity, really they care about growth and profit. So she sat down and wrote her experiences in Facebook and it was just like, yeah, finally someone is saying about this. So I'm coming from that perspective to this kind of thing and I'm seeing, seeing this and I know, as she said in her books, Facebook used this kind of information to target advertising vulnerable teenagers, vulnerable 13 to 17 year olds who were contemplating or any any of those things. And they targeted advertising. They didn't care about the fact that they were in a tough position. They cared about money and growth. And they used this information for nefarious purposes. So now we have these LLMs that are even more powerful than what we had earlier. But what can you do? What can you do, right? They're very good products it's not as if we can escape from them we have to use them because they're that good but at the same time wow so what do you think guys about this whole thing just chuck these two prompts into chat gpt and then take a look at what this tool knows about you man maybe you have the same reaction or a different reaction to to what myself and a different reaction to what matt had anyway thanks for watching Like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.